challenger Tiberio Mitri of Italy jumps into the ring in Madison Square Garden to fight champion Jake LaMotta of New York for the world's middleweight crown. Peacefully watching are the fighters' wives as the match starts with LaMotta in black trunks and Mitri in white sparring for an opening. Governor Dewey sees LaMotta, bull of the Bronx, clown like Maxi Bayer when he invites Mitri to come on in and fight. By the seventh round, both have warmed up. It's the champion's first defense of his title since he won it from the late Marcel Serdar of France. But Mitri is feeling the pace. Round eight is the turning point, with Lamotta moving in to press home the attack. It's the evening of Mitri's birthday, and the champion makes sure his own personal presence don't go astray. Neither boxer wastes energy on unnecessary footwork. and last round, it's one good swap for another with Mitri taking severe punishment. Outpointed, he could only win by a knockout. And there's the bell, the fight's over. Mitri, unbeaten in 52 bouts, goes down to his first defeat. Jake LaMotta retains the middleweight championship of the world.